Hey guys, um, I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I'm gonna start making videos now. I just started making a, a new platformer about maybe a little over a month ago. Um, I'm just, this is gonna be a big game, so I'm just building a functionality right now, but every maybe week or two, I'll probably post a video with uh, my progress. Um, this being the first one, I'll just show you what I have so far. So this is going to be a 2D platformer. All the art, um, all the art right now is placeholder images. Um, as you can see, my character is in animated either. I just made a little character in paint just as a placeholder. Um, but if you've been paying attention since this started, the background actually changed. Um, this is because I have a, a sort of like a day-night cycle. So. I can set it, I can tell it how long a day should last, uh, that how long I went to last in the game, and it'll go from whatever background I set it to, to a darker version of that background. Um, as you can see, it's getting brighter now. Um, but yeah, so this is just, it's going to be a platformer. Here's a moving platform that I can stand on. These black, these black and white things right here, these are uh, warp points. Um, there are two black ones and two white ones in the level. Uh, black corresponds with black and white corresponds with white. So if I jump through this, it'll transport me to the other black one. And if I go back, it'll transform me, transport me back. Um, I can also go, if I can get up there, I can go to the white one down here and it'll transport me to the other white one on the other side of the screen. So, um, I also have a sort of a bouncing platform right here. Um, so when I touch it, it will send me up in the air. Uh, it uses impulses and it doesn't rely on, uh, yeah, it doesn't rely on restitution. So every time that I touch it, it will bounce me the same amount. It doesn't matter how far you've fallen, it, uh, it bounces you up the same amount um, because it's an impulse. Um, you can double jump, but not more than that. Um, and then, uh, just last night I made it so that when I left click I can create an enemy that has a very simple following mechanism. Um, so I'll create one now. And now he's following me. Right, I can try and push him off. Yeah, see. Didn't know what, what to do. Yeah, he can also go through the warp, so if I jump through, he can jump through too. He didn't jump through the second one, but... Um, your jump is restarted when you hit the ground, so... He couldn't jump back because he hadn't hit the ground again. They have basically the same rules as me. The only difference is that I can go a little bit faster and I can jump uh, my, like, yeah, I can jump quicker also. So I think they can jump every half a second and I can jump every uh, fifth of a second. So it allows me, because otherwise uh, every time we jumped, he would sort of counteract my jump if I was trying to go the opposite direction. So I made it so I could jump faster. Also. Uh, we move at the same speed unless I hold shift. If I hold shift, we do move faster. But. Yeah, um, my next video I'll probably have some some weapons. I don't have any weapons or anything right now. Um, but like I said, I've only been working on it about a month. So, uh, any feedback is helpful. Um, any suggestions also, maybe like weapon types, anything, um, would also be helpful. Alright, thanks guys.